Hi, this is mid-April 2012. Um, just a, a rough insight. This is again intended for anyone who's just gone through fairly horrible surgery uh, on the workings of a hand. Uh, the purpose of this is just to try and give you an insight into what you can expect if all goes well. Uh, you know, 12, 15, and I'll do it again up to two years and maybe more uh, further down the line. My challenge was that when this happened to me, um, you know, you, you kind of sat there after the operation that the whole bloody thing swollen up, it's horrible, it hurts like hell. Um, and it's fixed in this position, you know, it's, it's really uh, forced back because of all the work they've had to do under here. Alright, so uh, irrespective of what I was told, you know, I mean, and, and, and the staff at Leeds are just unbelievable, but um, I've got my own idea about how things are going to work out. And when I saw the state of what was inside this and what had been cut, uh, I knew I was in serious trouble. Uh, so at the time of the accident, I got no idea what to expect. And in fairness, no one could really tell me. And so the purpose of this is for anyone who's in a similar situation, anyone who's had you know, a fairly traumatic accident with a hand and they've managed to get it all patched up again. Uh, this is just to give you an indication of the kind of movement uh, that you can expect. And this is what, 14, 15 months down the way. Uh, so, you know, general finger movement, uh, not too bad. You know, the wrist action again is tremendous. Uh, doing that, this is a lot of physio. This is, physio becomes your hobby. Uh, and I wasn't a great student at first, was I, Helen? Um, but we get there in the end. And the thing is, you just have to make it a part of, of your day because it feels awful if you don't. You know, I wake up on a morning. And, you know, it's not painful, but the hand is kind of set in about that position. And not set, you know, but, but it doesn't really want to do much. And so every morning as a ritual, you kind of get into doing the bending stuff, the, 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 the flexing it in as many directions as you can. Uh, my thumb's a bit of an issue, so that needs to be uh, pulled out quite a bit. Um, and working the, working the scar tissue as well helps. You know, just anything at all, just rubbing it, uh, it kind of helps loosen stuff up. So it, it starts you know, feeling like it's full of plasticine first thing in the morning, but it doesn't hurt, so that's good. Uh, the feeling is, is a little bit there, you know, it's not great, there's not a huge amount of, you know, I can, I can, I can, every, everything tickles if it's touched. If I touch the table, I can feel the cold. Uh, if I touch my hand, I can feel the warmth. Um, and if I rub them together, you know, I can sense the sensations there, but it's not anything like as sensitive as, as a proper hand would be. But it's getting better, and that's, that's the important thing. After about four or five months, little bits started coming back. I remember the first time uh, I'd been down for a, a session of physio, and when I got outside, I realised I could feel the breeze on my hand. That was fantastic. Uh, you know, and then it progresses very gently, very gradually, but it does get better. How good it's going to get, I've got no idea. Uh, and the hospital can't tell you that. You know, my age is against me from the point of view of nerve regeneration, but I'm delighted with where it is now. Now, so from a practicality point of view, um, you know, there's a few things around here. You know, not you know, you can pick stuff up, you can move things around. Uh, you know, you could probably stable if I wanted to. Not a great deal of strength in there, but this wasn't rehearsed by the way. She's actually on the table. Um, but I will post a few examples of of the kind of things that I can do quite well. Uh, so you'll see those a little bit later on. But, as I say, this is really just for anybody who, who hasn't got a clue, who's feeling pretty down, because it's not a great thing to happen. Uh, but this just gives you an insight as to what you can do after a good period of time. So, you know, you might not feel like it now, and you might think physio really, really hurts. Um, if you don't do it, you know, you, you will lose an awful lot of movement, and it gets harder and harder to get it back, so do as you're told. But it's good stuff. It gets better, and it doesn't hurt, and it does function. So stick at it.